Welcome to WP Mail SMTP, the most popular SMTP and PHP mailer for WordPress. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your site's email deliverability issues by setting up WP Mail SMTP with Postmark. Email deliverability is probably the biggest and most common issue that WordPress users face on a day-to-day -day basis. This includes important emails either ending up in a user spam folder or not being delivered at all. The best way to fix this issue is to authenticate your site's emails using SMTP and selecting a specific mailer option to help deliver your emails reliably each and every time. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Before we get started, you'll need to make sure you have an active Postmark account. If not, you can visit their website to get started with the free trial. After you've filled out your information, you should get a verification email. This will also automatically create an individual sender signature, which is an individual email address or domain that's authorized in Postmark to send emails from your site. When you open the message, click on Confirm Sender Signature and log into your Postmark account. On the dashboard, click on the Request Approval button. Postmark will review your new account, and you'll need to fill out a little bit of information, like how many emails per month you intend to send and what you're going to be using Postmark for. When you filled out this information, submit your request. This can take around one business day, but in the meantime, we can still proceed with the setup process. Just note that you won't be able to send any emails to addresses outside of your verified domain until the account is approved. You can proceed with the sender signature you just created, or you can opt to create a new one so that you can send emails from a different address. To create a new sender signature, click on Sender Signatures at the top of your dashboard, and then click on the Add Domain or Signature button. On the following page, click Add Sender Signature. Fill out the following fields and click Create Signature when you're done. Postmark will then send a verification email to the address you provided. When you get the email, click Confirm this sender signature to finish setting it up. We're now going to add our domain to our Postmark account, so go back to your Postmark dashboard, click Sender Signature, then Add Domain or Signature, and this time, click Add Domain. A pop-up will appear and you'll need to enter the domain you want to verify. Click Verify Domain to proceed to the next step, which is adding records to your domain's DNS settings. The next page will have said records. Open a new tab and log into the service where you purchased your site's domain. This is often your site's hosting provider and find your site's DNS settings. Each DNS settings page will look different depending on your provider, but regardless, there should be an option to add new records. Let's go through adding the first record as an example. On your DNS settings page, Click the option to add a new record and specify what type of record it's going to be. In my case, the first record I'm going to add is a DKIM record. Tab back to Postmark, copy the hostname value, and go back to your DNS settings and paste it into the hostname or name field. Go back to Postmark, copy the text in the Add This Value column, and paste it into the value column in your DNS settings. When you're done, Go back to Postmark and click on the Verify buttons for each record. Once your domain has been verified, you should see green check marks next to each record indicating this. The next step is to find your Postmark API token, so click on the Servers option at the top of the dashboard. You're going to click on the name of the server you're going to use to send emails, but for this tutorial, we're going to be using the default My First Server option. In the Servers dashboard, click API Tokens. This will bring up a screen with the API token. Keep this tab open, then open a new tab, log into your WordPress site, and go to the settings page of WP Mail SMTP. On this page, we can begin configuring the mailer settings. You'll see two fields, from email and from name. By default, these fields will be filled in by your site's admin email address and the site name. In the from email field, Enter the email address that matches your sender signature in Postmark. However, since we verified our domain, you can actually use any email address that contains the domain name. You can also check the box labeled Force From Email if you'd like the address in the From Email field to be used across your entire site. In the From Name field, feel free to write in any name you'd like. You can also select the Force From Name field if you'd like this to be applied to all emails site-wide. In the Mailer section, select Postmark. You'll then see two more fields appear, Server API Token and Message Stream ID. Go back to your Postmark account, 
copy the API token, then paste it into this field in WPMail SMTP. The message stream ID field is actually optional. What this does is it helps you optimize email deliverability by separating transactional emails from marketing or bulk emails. This is a part of Postmark's message streams function. Finally, once you've made sure that the verification process on Postmark's end has been completed, click on the Save Settings button at the bottom of the page. To make sure everything is working properly, let's send out a test email. Click on the Email Test tab at the top of the page, and in the Send To field, you can enter whatever email address you have access to to receive the test email. When you're done, click Send Email. When the test email has been sent, check your inbox to find the newly arrived message. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to set up WP Mail SMTP with Postmark. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to visit WPMailSMTP.com and check out our documentation page, where we have step-by-step -step written instructions that can help you get started and learn more about what WP Mail SMTP has to offer. If you need any extra technical help, you can always go to our contact page and reach out to our support team.